factoring perfect square trinomials. So, pansin natin, perfect squares pa din tayo. So, mahalaga pa din i-connect natin dun sa lesson 2. Alam pa din dahil talaga natin yung perfect square numbers. Then, trinomials. So, meron tayong three terms. So, this is a special product na tackle natin na kapag meron tayong square of a binomial, let's say A plus B square, kapag sinimplify natin yan, so, square the first term, multiply the first and the second, AB times 2. So, that is 2AB. Then, square the second term, then plus B squared. Ito ngayon yung tinatawag natin na perfect square trinomial. Yan. Likewise, kapag meron tayong a minus b square, yan ay square the first term, a squared minus, multiply the first term and the second term, times 2. So, 2ab, then plus, square the second term, b squared. Ito din ay... Kapag sinimplify, yan yung perfect square trinomial. So, pansinin natin, to check the perfect square trinomial, kung perfect square trinomial ba talaga siya, dapat si first term at si third term ay perfect squares. Then, yung middle term natin ay the product of the square root of the first term and the sec and the third term times 2 so pansinin din natin na dito sa PST natin si first term tsaka si third term laging positive at tandaan niyo yon so pag factor out natin siya ito naman yung lalabas is square of a binomial try natin ng examples in example number 1 x squared plus 12x plus 36. So, first step, i-check nyo muna kung perfect square trinomial siya. First term and the third term must be perfect squares. x squared, perfect square siya. Last term, 36, perfect square din siya. Tama. Yung first condition natin. Then, the middle term must be the product of the square root of the first and third term. So, square root the x squared is x. Square root the 36 is 6. x times 6, 6x six times 2. So, 6x times 2, 12x. So, tama siya. Perfect square trinomial. So, kung natin yung factor niya, sabi niya, ang factor natin ay square of a binomial. So, naka-square tayo. Then, binomial. That means two terms. Then, kailan natin square root nito. Square root of the first term, that is x. Sign of the middle term is positive. So, positive yung sign natin. Then, square root of the last term. Square root of 36, that is 6. Yan. So, ito na nga yung factor natin. Okay, number 2 tayo. I-double check mo na ulit natin. 9x squared. Perfect square? Tama. 25. Perfect square din. Middle term. Square root of 9. That is 3. Square root of x. x. 25. Square root niyan is 5. So, pag minultiply natin, 3x times 5. 15x times 2. So, 15 times 2, negative 30x. Tama perfect square trinomial din siya. So, parenthesis, then, square natin ulit. Square root ni 9x squared is 3x. So, kuha natin si 3x. Ang sign ng middle term is negative. So, kuha natin si negative. Then, square root of 25, that is 5. Ito na ngayon yung factored form natin. Next example tayo, number 3. 27m squared plus 72mn plus 48n squared. Check natin si first term and 
last term. Perfect square. Kaya sila? 27, 48. Hindi sila perfect square numbers. So, paano yun? So, sa lesson 2 natin, na-discuss natin yung greatest common factor. So, sa factoring kasi, connected yon Dapat master mo natin yon So, baka may GCF sila. Check natin kung may common factor sila. 27, 72, and 48. May common factor sila? Divisible sila ng 3. Yan. So, divisible lahat sila ng 3. Okay. So, variable, may M tayo, may M, walang M. Walang N, so wala. So, 3 lang talaga ang common factor nila. Then, divide natin. 27 divided by 3, 9. Since wala namang variable ang ating common factor, so kapay na lang natin si M squared. Next, 72 divided by 3, Divide natin. 72 divided by 3. Kung pwede yung mental, kaya naman. So, mas maganda. 2, 6, 1, then 4. 24. Anong sign? Positive. So, positive 24. Copy yung variable natin. M, N. Next, plus 48 divided by 3. So, that is 48 divided by 3, 4 divided by 3, 1, 1 times 3, 3, subtract 18, so this is 16. 18 divided by 3, 6, so 16. So 16, variable natin, n squared. n squared. The factor natin siya gamit ang greatest common factor. Now, i-check natin kung perfect square trinomial na siya. So, copy natin yung common factor na 3. And, check muna natin. 9m squared, oh, perfect squares. 16n squared, perfect squared din. Squared of 3, uh, squared of 9, that is 3. Squared of 16, that is 4. So, 4 times 3, that is 12, times 2, 24. So, tama. So, Perfect square number na ito. So, i-factor out natin yung PSD natin. Parenthesis, then, square tayo. Now, square of 9, that is 3M. Plus yung gitna natin. So, plus 16, that is 4M. So, ito na ngayon yung ating factor 4. Or pwede natin i-write. Pwede i-write na 3 times 3m plus 4n times 3n plus 4n. So, parehas lang din yan. So, naka-square tayo. So, tala mong equivalent niya. Another example, number 4. Oh, the same case sila. Oh, check natin kung perfect square yung mga first and third term natin. Pero pa sila ninyo, 4, negative 40, negative 10. Kuhin mo natin yung GCF nila. So, ang common factor natin, 4, 40, and 10 ay 4. So, 4. How about sa variable? Meron tayong y. Y and y. So, 4 y. 4 divided by 4, that is 1. So, may y tayo din dito. So, may iwan na lang dyan ay x square. Minus 40 divided by 4, that's 10. So, mawawala din si y, may iwan na lang si x. Next, plus 100 divided by 4, 25. Wala na ngayon si y. So, i-check natin kung perfect square trinomial. x squared is a perfect square. 25 is a perfect square. So, 
x squared the x squared is x the square root naman ito ni 5 is 5 x times 5, 5x then multiplied by 2, 10 so p x din siya so copy the gcf for y then since perfect square trinomial yan yan then we have x copy yung sign of middle term minus then square root of 25 so, ito na ngayon yung ating factor 4. So, ayan, si perfect square. Now, direction, factor the following perfect square trinomials. So, we have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you want to try, you can pause the video. Then, after answering, you can resume watching. For number 1, x squared minus 22x plus 121. So this is a perfect square trinomial. So square root of the first term, that is x. The sign of the middle term, just copy, minus the square root of 121 is 11. Then square. Or, that is x plus 11. Now, x minus 11 times x minus 11. Number 2. We know that this is a perfect square trinomial. So, square root of 49, that is 7. Then, a. Sine of the middle term, positive. Square root of 9, that is 3. Square root of b squared, that is square. Now it can be written as 7a plus 3b times 7a plus 3b. Number 3. x cubed plus 10x plus 25. So we have x plus the square root of 25 is 5. Can be written as x plus 5 times x plus 5. Next, so we have a raised to n plus square root of 5. Uh, 25 is 5 squared. Can be written as a raised to n plus 5 times a raised to n. And the last number, 25x raised to 10 minus 20x raised to 5 plus 4. The square root of 25, that is 5, then x raised to 5 minus the square root of 4 to the square root. can be written as 5x raised to 5 minus 2, then 5 x raised to 5 minus 2. That is factoring perfect square trinomial. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and I hope you yeah, for 5 over 5. Please share to your classmates.